they always say you should wait a little bit for these live videos. Um, but I'm not going to wait because I'm an impatient kind of guy. And it's Wednesday and the shop is still open. That's why I'm a couple of minutes late to our 5 o'clock showing of What's Up Wednesdays with your host, Ramon Siobhan. Uh, and we're here at 321 Kiteboarding. And today is our weekly show for you guys just to tell you what's been going on. Had a phenomenal day on the water um, on a five meter kite, seven meter kite, nine meter kites, and it was great. Um, one thing I told myself I was gonna tell you guys is I'm always looking for topics and I kind of forget through the week to get topics together. So if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments. If you like what we're doing here, put a big thumbs up. If you just joined us, thank you. Make sure you put a thumbs up. That's kind of like applause, letting you know that everything I'm doing is phenomenal. Uh, but let's get going with our What's Up Wednesday. Uh, we just had some clients in the shop, and I, I forget, a lot of our audience, they're already kiteboarders. So I don't want to talk to just the people that are starting or just the people that are, are you know, kiting for a long time. But they had questions, simple things like, you know, what does it take to kiteboard? How long do you have to learn? And these are questions that a lot of us get. So I'm just going to run down some real fast answers. Um, and it's really simple. Kiteboarding is actually pretty easy. Uh, it does take lessons. You do need to get out there and practice. And you do need to get out there and sometimes pay your dues. But you don't want to do that on your own. You definitely want a certified instructor in a certified school like us at 321 Kiteboarding. Um, and, you know, what does it take to kiteboard? Really, you don't need any previous board sport experience. You don't even have to be able to ride one of these things, a skateboard or a surfboard or anything. If you have that, great. You're going to be a lot easier for us to teach. But other than that, we can teach you. It's all about the kite, flying the kite. It does not take a lot of upper body strength. Lord knows I haven't been to the gym in a while. Um, because you're connected to a harness, which brings me to what we're going to talk about today. Not only is it a product highlight, but it's also kind of a helpful hint. For those of you that are currently kiteboarding, those of you that are possibly wanting to kiteboard, I am going to show you today the two most popular styles of harnesses. So check out this camera move. You ready? Whoa, what did this guy just do? This is amazing. All right, everyone should be able to see me. I've got two styles of harnesses today. Um, these are both going to be from one of the best companies in the world, Ion. They build really, really, really good product, um, something that you can buy. You so this is a waist style harness. Waist style harness is exactly that. It just means that it's going to go around your waist, right? So it opens up, you put it around your waist. Now, if you've never put on a harness before, uh, you want to do something. You want to make sure that this hook yeah. is facing down. That's how you know it's not on backwards. Waist harnesses feel like they would, oh my gosh, I really told you I haven't been to the gym in a while. Okay, got it. So waist harnesses fit here. They feel like they'd really do a real good job supporting your back. But what we've tended to find and what we tell people, if you have back injuries, this harness may not actually be the best for you. The reason is the kite is pulling you from this harness hook and you really have to strain with your back against the pull of the kite. So you're actually going to put more wear and tear on your back. So even though it feels great in the shop, waist harnesses are not necessarily the best for someone who maybe needs something real easy on their back. What it is good for are all you freestyle rippers or anybody getting in the surf because it allows you to really move the bottom of your hips. You know, you like my dance? All right. A um, lot more freely and your center of gravity is a little bit better for tricks. So waist harness for advanced riders or someone hoping to get into that advanced level or in the surf. Waist harness. Buy a good one. Buy one that has a handle pass leash or a handle in the back so that people can hold you uh, to keep you from flying away. Just kidding. That's not going to happen. Um, and something that comes with a hook knife. I think in one of our previous episodes we covered safety. Hook knives are super important. If you don't have one, buy one. If it's not going to be for you, make sure it's for me so if I screw something up, you can cut me out. But a good harness is going to have one on there, so that's what you look for. So that's the first one, right? The other one is a seat style harness. Seat style harnesses are great. They're getting a lot better. The old ones used to be like diapers. These are actually like nice, pliable, soft, supportive shorts. Yes, all of those things at once. A seat style harness is very simple. You're not going to be able to see it, but I'm going to step into these. All right, stepping in like a climbing rig. Do, 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 do. And there we go. 
Now, the nice thing about a seat style harness is it holds all of your weight and you don't have to lean with your back. Yes, they also look very sexy. Okay, they don't, but they do have a purpose. The purpose is your center of gravity is nice and low, a lot easier on your back, just easier to use in general. Most of our beginners start off with a seat style harness. Um, and a lot of people just keep a seat style harness through their entire career because they're comfortable, you can hold down more power. Um, the downfall is that it locks you into your waist. So when you're locked into your waist, when the kite pulls you in a direction, that's where your body's gonna go. So they're not as good for wave riding or hooked in freestyle, but they're probably one of the more comfortable style harnesses. So those are your two style harnesses, waist and seat. Guys, it has been a phenomenal Wednesday. We've had wind. We've got a lot of exciting things coming down the line. Uh, it's Florida, it's February, and we're going out without wetsuits. So can't be better. Thank you very much for joining me for What's Up Wednesday. Come back next week, 5 p.m. Make sure to like us and follow us if you aren't already.